Jason Martinez here from the Flyers Alumni Golf Outing once again, and uh, we're here with Todd Fedorik right now. You're actually, you work now, you have a job for the team. Yep. Tell people what you do. Well, it's an it's a ambassador of hockey. It's following along the lines of, of Bob Kelly and, and what he does, but it's basically what it is, is we put in, in place programs in the community and, and cultivate, you know, fan, fan, fan stuff, things we can do with the fans, things we can do with their experience and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, cultivate and, and keep, keep uh, the traditions fresh and, and that's kind of what an alumni does. I'm also on the board with the alumni and help with events like this and bridging the gap between the young and the old and more guys. Let me ask you this, you played for a few NHL teams. It, we've seen this happen so often, so many guys that have played for the Flyers for whatever the period of time might have been, they end up back here in some capacity, either just living here or being a part of this organization. Why is that? I, it's a test to Mr. Schneider and how he runs things. It's, uh, it's, it's that old old saying of how you know, things start at the top and trickle down and, and they do things right around here and the Flyers have always been uh, a, an organization that are, are deeply you know, invested in the community that they're involved with and, you know, players want to give back at some point and, and they always take care of their players here and I, I hear from all the guys that come back to this that amongst the other organizations, not that any of them are bad, but not only do you develop as a hockey player, but they really develop you as a, as a, as a young man and it's, it's an important thing and guys hold that close when they are asked to come back and support the Flyers. Let me ask you this, you, uh, you got into the coaching a little bit in the NA, or at, at a uh, amateur level, not amateur, but a professional level. Yeah. Give me a scouting report, your coaching scouting report on a player like Vincent McEvoy. Oh, Vinny, well, I played with him in Tampa Bay and he's, he's one of the top guys in the league and I think with what he brings, it, 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 it's going to not only balance out that leadership that we might lose in, in, in a guy like Danny Gruyere, but the guy's still got game and he's consistent. And I think he was really excited about you know Peter Laviolette's style of play and he will, knowing him as a player, he will benefit under that system. And you know what, I think it's going to help Paul Giroux and all those guys with with that leadership, that presence in the NHL in the dressing room. Because he's been around for a lot of years and he's been through a lot. He's won in Tampa Bay and I'm excited about it. Let me ask you this for how's your golf game? Not bad. With these best balls, if you can crush it off the drive and come out of your shoes a bit. Yeah, I got no no short game, but I can I can do it off the off the tee box. You, it. No you, finesse in my game. Do you ever get frustrated with anybody in your group and decide to pull their jersey over no, their head? No, no. no. Not these. <laughs> uh, Todd Fedor, thanks for taking the time. Good luck at him today. Thanks.